In this video, I will be talking about the interior walls. And we just kind of have some rough measurements for the outside here. And if you notice, the interior walls are going to be a little thinner. You can change the width of both the interior and exterior walls. You want to frame with 2x6 or 2x4. You can do that uh, quite easily. I'll show that to you in a future video. So I'm going to push on the exterior wall. So I left clicked on the mouse. I just pushed down. So I'm, I just pushed it down. I don't have, I'm not holding anything. You know, the other time, I, I don't think I in the exterior I held anything. But if I was just to hold this, let's say I clicked on it and just held it, it's not going to do anything anyway. So here I clicked on it, and now I am going to left click again, and then hold the mouse down, and that's going to give me my wall. I'm just going to go straight across with a wall. I'm going to tie it right in. You can see where it's smaller. Now I still have, when, with this X symbol here, I still have my interior wall mode. So I'm just going to, I'm not pushing any of the mouse keys right now, but now I'm going to left click and drag. So I'm holding the mouse. The left click button is pushed down right now. Holding it, I'm going to let off on it, and now I have another wall. Now if I want to move that wall, I just simply click on it and then move it. I want to move it, I want to make it longer click on the end. If I want to pull it away, I can pull it away by using the move, push it to the other side. And of course this right here allows me to rotate it. So if I hold this, I can turn it. If I want to go 90 degrees, And I'll have to explain more on this. I'm not real familiar with what this is because I know there's got to be a way where I can set this to where it will um, rotate at a, at, to be 45 degrees. I've already done that before. So I'm just going to delete this one here. Go to Edit, Delete. That one's gone. Take this one here. I'm going to move it over more. And you can copy these two. You can copy the object and then paste it wherever I push it here. Now I have another wall. I don't really know how much of that would be necessary to copy and paste because you could just simply draw another wall in here. So if I wanted to move this wall to the precise measurements, again, remember in the previous video on exterior, on the exterior walls, I simply click the wall, click on this, and then change it. So on this one, I'm just going to get rid of this push the delete key on my keyboard and then push the left click button down and then it moved the wall over to 12 feet. So that's 12 feet from the edge to the edge um, from here to here. And this would be the, uh, I believe the same as on center. Um, if this moved over, no, that wouldn't be because we got two different walls here. If this was a two by four wall and this was a two by four wall, this measurement would, re would also represent the center of each wall, but it wouldn't with the two by six. So I'm going to come back over here, left click with my mouse, not pushing anything right now. Now I'm going to push the left mouse button down again, draw another wall. It's going to connect there, have something connect here, have something connect here connect it to there and then let's just say I want to get rid of this wall I got a I'm gonna to have to click on the pointer I want to just point something out if I'm here I can't get rid of this wall it's gonna to want to draw another wall it's gonna to want to draw another wall now it clicked to the it's still clicked on here yeah it's not doing nope now it's back to draw on the wall once we get that plus symbol there so as I was saying with the plus symbol I'm gonna to have to click on this one here Click on that, and then I'm going to need to put a break in it. I'm going to need to put a break here and a break here. And now I can go back and click on this, click on this, and you can see where it's a separate wall. So I can actually move it in too if I want. If I move it out, it's going to pull this out with it. Move it back in, it's going to pull this in here. So if I want to get rid of that, edit, delete, and the wall is gone. So interior walls, it's the same as the exterior. If I want this to be a certain size room, 
on the uh, inside here, it looks like I'm, I'm at the inside measurements. I'm going to simply push on this wall here. I don't have a measurement in here. I'm going to have to get some measurements in here to move this wall if I don't want to use these measurements here. And to do that, I'm simply going to come in here and just put in automatic interior dimensions. So a little confusing, but you can get rid of these. So here I got two of them, let's say. I want to get rid of this one. I'm just going to push delete on my keyboard. You know, okay, do I need uh, this one here? Uh, no, delete. One of these is enough, delete. But if I want to move this wall here, let's say I'm going to put a bathroom in here and I want this to be five feet, then I'm going to type in five feet, enter. Now I have a five foot inside dimension on that. Let's zoom in on it. I'm going to get rid of this, delete. I don't need this, delete. So here we can see where we have five foot. Now if it needs to be five foot by eight foot, then I'm just simply going to come in here, get rid of this, and then push the uh, mouse or the left mouse down button and I have eight feet now. And of course, since this is a separate room, I can name it. I'm going to delete this. I'm just going to delete that. So I don't have a door or anything in here, but I can name the room by, um, let's just, not, I'm going to double click on the mouse, the left button. Double click, brings up this opening. I'm going to say it's a bathroom. Okay, now we've named it. It's eight foot by five. I want to move it around, move it over to here. So I might have the, na the, na the name of the room might be in the way of the bathtub or the sink or the toilet. So you can always move it. And the same can be, can be found down here. If I just click on this, it's going to bring up the, okay, what, whatever it's not, there we go bring it up see, so I can change it if I want to. I want to make it a bonus room. Okay, change it to a bonus room. I'm going to get rid of it. Push the delete key. Gone. So I can't really think of much else for interior um, walls to get in the sizes. And again, you can get rid of these by just simply deleting the ones you don't want here. But there are going to be times when you're going to need the inside measurements for a bathroom, a hallway, a stairwell, a stairwell, something like that. So that's it for the interior walls and it is off to the next video.